Hi children, are you ready for another story? A story about an African animal? Okay. Today's story is called Little Monkey. Who can you see on the front cover? That's right, it's a little monkey. He's looking at a butterfly. Where do you think the monkey might be? Looks like he's in the jungle. Let's find out all about the monkey. He's sitting on a tree now. Little Monkey. Monkey loved living in the jungle. There were so many things to do and so many things to see. But every now and then, woof, things went a little bit wrong. Did you see what happened to Monkey then? He was swinging through the trees and he fell off, landed on the ground. He woke up all the other monkeys. They were all looking to see what happened. Monkey had a little problem. And the problem was being little. Some days everything was out of reach. Look, you can't reach the monkey. Can't reach the fruit. Other days it was out of sight. All the monkeys are looking at the, the birds, eating the nectar from the flower. Can little monkey see? No, he's too little. Things were always too deep. Oh, look, he can't touch the bottom of the lake. And too dangerous. Look, all the monkeys are around the sleeping tiger. They're not letting little monkey go near, though. And too difficult for someone so little. He wants to climb up and get some bananas, doesn't he? No, you can't climb up here, says the monkey. Poor little monkey. Monkey was fed up with always missing out. Look, they're all grooming each other. That's what monkeys do. They pick insects off each other and make sure they're all looking nice and tidy. So one day, she made a big decision a very brave and very big decision. I will climb to the top of the tallest tree. The jungle is not too big for me, you'll see. There goes Monkey. But who was in the bushes watching Monkey? Who's that? It's the tiger. What do tigers like to eat? Monkey. It wasn't an easy journey. Not easy at all. Look, Monkey had to cross the lake. The river was deep and dangerous. Oh, look, Monkey's going across the lily pads, just like the frog in front of her. The path was often difficult, but Monkey would not give up. And step by step, she found her way. She's gone through the forest. Everywhere Monkey looked, she noticed little things. There's a little chameleon. And the little things did amazing things. There's lots of spiders making amazing spider's webs. Have you seen a spider's web? They're so pretty. Look at all the butterflies. They're going from cocoons and turning into butterflies. Now it's my turn, she said. So Monkey began to count. Oh, who's underneath Monkey? Uh-oh. Monkey's counting one, two, three. Who's too little now? Not me, she said, as she eats the lovely jungle fruit. Oh, look, there's the tiger. All oh, the fruits landed on the tiger's head. Don't think that's going to make him very happy. Soon, Monkey had reached the very bottom of the tallest tree in the jungle. This will be fun, she said, and she began to climb. Up she went, climbing higher and higher. <gasps> Who's behind her? Who doesn't look very happy? Little Monkey, you better be careful. Right to the very top. The world below looks so little and so beautiful. <gasps> Who 
Who do those paws belong to, children? Finally, Monkey could see everything. <gasps> oh no, the tiger's there. Monkey doesn't know. Monkey's waving to all her monkey family. She could see everything, including the rest of her troop. A troop is a group of monkeys. They look very excited to see me. Children, do you think they're waving because they're excited or are they waving to warn little monkey about tiger? It must be time to go, thought monkey. And she swang down from the tallest tree. Look, she's using the tiger's tail to swing down, feeling very pleased and very proud. Monkey did love living in the jungle, now more than ever before. I may be small, but I'm very brave, she said. And very lucky, said the rest of her troop. Can you see in the background the tiger's still at the top of the tallest tree? He didn't manage to eat little monkey, thank goodness for that. Little Monkey knew they were right because the smaller you are, the larger your adventures can be. But best of all, the bigger the hugs feel. Ah, oh, what a nice ending. I wonder, that little monkey, she didn't realise there was a big tiger sneaking up on her in the jungle, did she? Do you think she was brave or do you think she was a bit silly going off all by herself? She put herself in a little bit of danger, didn't she, with that tiger trying to eat her up. Thank goodness she arrived home safe and well. I hope you enjoyed the story, children, and I'll see you soon. Bye.